Hey everyone, Violin Stefan Jakiv here, and I want to talk a little bit about practicing scales. So I grew up practicing, or being told to practice rather, um, three octave scales and three octave arpeggios, thirds, sixths, um, octaves, all the rest of it. And I'm sure this helped me a bit, but I quickly felt when I started kind of thinking about the scale practice that I was doing that I hit a plateau. Um, I was able to play my scales decently well, but I wasn't really improving in any way, and I was constantly in this sort of cycle of playing a note slightly incorrectly, slightly out of tune, and quickly adjusting it. And I realized that I had to somehow retool how I practice scales to sort of get things to the next level where I wasn't quickly adjusting mistakes or correcting mistakes, but getting the note right, correct, right from the beginning. And I turned to, if you use the Carl Flesch scale book, the very first page of each key has octaves, has scales in one octave on one string. So these aren't your three octave scales across all the strings, these are just one octave. And I started practicing them with no tempo whatsoever, and most importantly, thinking that I have no idea where the shifts are supposed to end. So that is to say, I practice these with no preconceived notion of where the notes are. And I just sort of search for the note and I stop when I'm on it. So take an A major scale on the G string. So the goal is to go slow enough that I never overshoot the note. If I've overshot it and correct it, I've missed the boat. shifting or undershifting and quickly adjusting. I'm doing it as slowly as possible so that all I'm doing is correct things. And gradually your my brain sort of like rememorized where the notes actually are. And this made a huge difference in my ability to play correctly. 